Greetings Fright fans, Dr. Gang Green here coming to you this week with another product review. Now, a few weeks ago, back around Halloween time, I did a John Zacherly tribute to the horror host Zacherly, and I, at that time, showed a few of my favorite Zacherly memorabilia pieces that I own. And one thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking about that was uh, a, a pair of, of objects that are some of my very favorite of, of the things Zach things that I own, and that is these Zacherly paperback books. These are really cool, and I thought we'd take a look at them because I thought this is something that you guys would enjoy looking at. All right, so here's the books themselves, Zacherly's Midnight Snacks and Zacherly's Vulture Stew. Now, I bought these books uh, sight unseen, description unknown from a website that did not list the condition at all. It just listed the books for sale. I took a chance and bought them both anyway. I scored on one and not so much on the other. So Zachary's Midnight Snacks is the first of the two and this book is actually falling apart. It came completely just weathered. The pages uh, are actually flaking off as I read them and some of them have even come loose from the, the, the glue on the spine now. So as you can see it's terrible condition. This first page here has actually come loose and it's you know but I read through it all anyway, read every story in there. The second book is Zachary's Vulture Stew. This thing came in near mint condition. And um, once again, it's, you know, this one's just beautiful. Now both of these feature these gorgeous covers. This is by an artist named Richard Powers, who was a very famous artist who did a lot of work in the 60s and 70s, primarily a lot of science fiction and, and some horror stuff. He's got this great kind of uh, abstract almost style, this, this super colorful kind of almost chaotic style controlled chaos, but I love it. I mean, it's, it's really great stuff. Not the kind of art that a lot of you wouldn't think of for a lot of this type of work, but it, it just works and it's instantly recognizable. You'll, if you ever see any old paperbacks, you'll recognize his artwork. I mean, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? The, Original art for this piece just sold online recently. I was looking up, I saw some guy had actually, I would love to own that, had actually bought this. I think it sold for $5,000, I think is what it sold for, which is way more than I would be able to pay. But anyway, these are the books. Both of them are listed uh, as from 1969. It says, uh, this one says also by Zachary, Zachary's Midnight Snacks. So Midnight Snacks was first. Copyright 1960 by Zachary. Now, I'm not sure how much input he really had into this. I don't really think he selected the stories and, and was the true editor. I think they just added his name to it. But it's got these little introductions before each story. Like here's one, The Witch. And uh, A.E. Van Voigt, it says, The Witch. I married one, you know. At least she is part witch. Nine parts vampire. Thank heaven. But witches are such lovely things and so rare in this day and age that I think it only right to include this account while the stew is at a rolling boil. So, I mean, it certainly sounds like the intros sound like Zachary, so I don't doubt that he wrote those, but I think that's probably the extent of his input. But it, anyway, Zachary's Midnight Snacks is the first one. And inside of it, uh, let's see, Sorry Right Number by Richard Matheson. Share Alike by Jer Jerome Bixby and Joe E. Dean. Talent by Theodore Sturgeon. Listen, Children, Listen by Wallace West. The Whispering Gallery, William F. Temple. The Piping Death, Robert Moore Williams. The Ghost by A.E. Van Voigt. Carillon of Skulls, Philip James. And Pile of Trouble by Henry Cutner. Love me some Henry Cutner. One of my favorite old Weird Tales authors. So anyway, that one's falling apart. Zachary's Vulture Stew here on the other hand near mint condition we got he didn't like cats by l ron hubbard dr jacobus melaphore's last patient mendrick lord the devil is not mocked by manly wade wellman another old weird tales author who's one of my favorites bones by donald a Wal walheim out of the jar charles tanner the witch by a e van voigt they bite by anthony boucher the shed e everett evans and there shall be no darkness by james blish Now, one other thing that makes me think that this is not edited by Zachary was this little piece right here. 
It says, Zachary, unlike most ghouls, ghosts, and monsters, Zachary is a self-made tradition. He is alleged to have been conceived in the mountains of Transylvania, reared with werewolves, and schooled at the Transylvanian Technical College of Poltergeistery. A creative figure in the world of shrieks and shrouds, he talks on equal terms with the known hoots and haunts of antiquity. But his urbane laughter and dexterous daring do, whether in the haunted vaults or vaunted halls of legend, always put him a step ahead of routine monsters. To grasp fully the ephemeral mystery of Zachary, study this book and then watch his Ghost to Ghost TV program in New York on WOR-TV and in Los Angeles on KHJ-TV, both Channel 9. For those who know, Zachary represents the triumph of artful laughter and keen satire over ancient films peopled with cinema's most contrived spooks and nightmares. Whether it is Dracula, Frankenstein, or the Hound of the Baskervilles, Zachary's celluloid magic always triumphs. That is clearly written by someone else, so that tells me that Zach is not the editor. All right, so again, that's the Zachary's Midnight Snacks and Zachary's Vulture Stew. I'm going to have to get me another copy of Midnight Snacks, but I lucked up on the Vulture Stew, so, so I'm good to go on that. I've read all the ones in this one, and most of Zachary's Vulture Stew, I'm still kind of working through it a little at a time, um, but I should have it finished here within the next couple of weeks. At, of the two, I think I like the stories in Vulture Stew a little bit better, but they're both excellent, excellent collections. So um, you can get these online, so you can look for your own copies and pick those up. I just thought this would be something kind of cool you guys might like taking a look at. So uh, from time to time, I'll pull out some other stuff from the collection and we can take a look at that stuff too. In the meantime, uh, I guess that's it for this week. Be sure and um, Click subscribe if you guys haven't. I would appreciate that. You can keep up with all the things that we do here in the lab. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll get notifications every time that I upload a new video. So that's it for this week. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And remember to stay mad, whatever you are.